Is Hamilton in there? How is he? He's losing it. Yelling nonsense for hours. Could you understand any of it? Something about being attacked by a monster one night. Some beast that wanted to scoop the brains out of his skull. I see. Keep this to yourself, will you? No need to spread silly rumors. Of course, ma'am. Let's find out if I can make him see reason. Why? They have to know something. Why would you believe me? Dr. Hybatia, she believes me. She knows something's not right in Adamire. <laughs> I'm not seeing things. You're Hamilton? Why did they lock you up? You know something? I swear, I know what I saw. A hooded. I just caught a glimpse. So much hate in the eyes. As if the world needed more of that. I'm not seeing things. I hope they didn't steal my notes. I need to go back to my room. They took my key. I thought I could... I don't know. What a fool I was.
gotten something under my fingernails again. What was I working with? Iodine, perhaps? <sighs> Are you a patient of mine? I'm sorry. I... I should know that. I'm here to ask you about something. Do you cover your face because you were hurt? The afflictions we treat here are more common than anyone likes to admit. I'm not here for treatment. I'm looking for Anton Sokolov. Sokolov. Yes, he was here for a short time. But she took him away. To see Kirin Jindosh. Do you... Do you hear something? What about the Crown Killer? A patient of yours? The Crown Killer? That name came from the newspapers. I'm afraid I don't... Oh, yes, the murders. I was in Dunwall, studying diseases found among whaling crews. Wait, did someone just call me? I've been forgetting things. The Crown Killer is an interesting case. I feel almost sure I could help with that. It's just, I used to do such good work, and now my memory is failing me. Who is that calling me? Excuse me. We don't get visitors very often. Only one recently. Oh, who was it? I forget. Are you with the Grand Guard? You know, I thought the Duke stationed the Grand Guard here to protect me. Now I'm not so sure. I assume you know what you're looking for. Let me know if you need anything. Excuse me. There's something that demands my attention. I uh, bet Sokolov would admire these. I didn't used to lose things like this. A disease of the memory, perhaps. A common affliction for the gifted. Something is terribly wrong. But I... I can't put my finger on it. The Duke must see reason. I need more patience. There's so much I could do here. Like when Adamire first opened. Coming back to the Institute after my trip hasn't relaxed me as I thought it would. My sleep is disturbed. Such a face I see in my dreams. As if someone has painted my portrait, but twisted my expression. Why would anyone do that? All my work in Karnaka. It seems that none of it helped. The city is sick with some infection I cannot cure. I wonder what she would say about this. I can hear her whispering from down in a well. Somewhere. Terrible killings. So much blood. So much meat. Why are you so damn timid, you little mouse? I would take hold of your tongue and pull it from your head if I could. Oh, the next one, the next one, I'll save her. Drive nails between his toes. Now there's an idea, an elixir that will keep them alive after I nest blood flies in their guts. Days, days and nights, <sighs> with blood fly maggots worming around underneath. An alchemist dedicated to the diseases of afflicting sailors and mine workers. But her mind is troubled. She a prisoner? She feels trapped here. Why is she not allowed to leave Adderwire? When the Duke's voice begins to play on the audiograph, a chill comes over her, and she sleeps. She wonders if Bergamot might increase the efficacy of her black lung formula. Another part of her is watching. 
but the Grand Guard interferes with her work, and she resents them. She could ease so much suffering. She fashioned a breathing apparatus for the child. Now she wonders if it has made any difference. This woman has a good heart, but there's something else there too. Watching from the inside. Tomorrow, she will ask again if she might see just a few of the most dire cases. When the patient regrets her most potent serum, she burned almost all the notes. But a part of her holds on to the formula. If they only let her deliver more oil of tartar to her patient with calendar, to ease his hallucinations. A patient studied at the Academy of Natural Philosophy under Pierre Jotlin and Anton Sokolov. Anton brought his dying son by boat, braving the rocks. She watched, helpless, as the soldiers drove him away. She cares for patients, treats them with compassion, often refuses their money. She has a special interest in the Lalong and the Iron Nations, prevalent in the Dust District. Mr. Boat, did you get another ship without pay? For years, she studied in Dunmore, before returning to the south. I see for more, but I have already told you about her. against his slippery skull, 
driving myself against his red fever. In time, good Vasco. In time. This is Vasco. He's been a loyal assistant to Alexandria Hypatia. Something has been done to him. He will never see his family again. Something has been injected into his blood. I cannot follow his thoughts. He's too weak to help himself. He knows something. He's seen something. That's why he's been made to suffer like this. Let's go. Hypatia's trusted assistant. She recruited him out of the academy. The best in his class. No, there is nothing more about him. Not that I can see. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Dr. Hypatia did this. She's the crown killer. But she's not herself. She d developed a serum trying to help the miners. The first version caused horrible changes to her mind. <clears throat> it's too late for me, but maybe you can still save her. She's a good person. What can I do? In my safe, in disease treatment, you'll figure out how to make the counter serum help her. The save code is 312. I've always wondered what flesh tastes like, my dear assistant. She's gone. What happened? father's workshop. He passed too early. See what's in here.
I finally understand it. There's a part of Hypatia that she doesn't even know about. It's always there, riding along in her mind, takes over and forces her to use more of the original serum with some regularity. The Duke keeps her here and, if I'm right, sends her out on diabolical assignments. Hypatia is the one the newspapers are calling. The crown killer. She leaves and comes back, leaving bloody footprints. But there's a cure, a counter serum. I'll try to administer it once I get my notes from the safe in disease treatment. Uh, hello? Oh, Alexandria. I was just... No. It's you! Yes, Vasco, my love. You were found out, and now we have some experiments to conduct. Come, I'll make you comfortable. Ah! No! I hope this works. For her sake, I hope this works. this fun? <laughs> You're dead, aren't you? Isn't this fun? <laughs> Something's not right with me. Maybe I contracted something working with infectious samples. No, someone was poisoning you. But you should be better now. I found some alchemical notes and made a counter serum. Poisoning me? Don't worry, I'm going to take care of it. If you need a place to lay low for a few days, come find us. I'm staying with an ally on a boat called the Dreadful Whale. I need to lie down. Maybe a break from work is in order. A few weeks. I don't feel well. But my head is clearer than it has been in months. Thank you for seeing to me. I haven't been well. I need rest. This is the one they call the crown killer. But she, she thinks, thinks of herself, herself as Grim, Grim Alex. Oh, something, something courses through her veins. 
this place yet. I don't like it. Ready now? Yes. Let's head out for the dreadful whale. What happened? Hypatia was the crown killer. <laughs> That's impossible. The Duke tricked her into injecting herself with a flawed version of her serum. It changed her, but there was an antidote so she'll live. If she remembers the murders, she'll have to deal with that. And Sokolov? He's been moved to the house of a man named Kieran Jindosh. The Duke's grand inventor. Supposedly brilliant. Another genius. Just what we needed. <laughs> 